are the behaviours, the actions, the sort of spoken words that you would attribute to an organisation that you'd describe as resilient? Usually, if an, if an, if an organisation is being resilient, it's because it's under pressure. Mm -hmm. But it's about what was built up prior to that pressure being there. Yeah. So what was happening for those workers in that workplace prior? Yeah. So what was the workplace doing to make people feel that they had control and autonomy, that they exercised responsibility, that they had power with that responsibility and not just responsibility with no power? Mm. Uh, what were people doing to feel that when you went to your workplace, it was a good place to go to, mm. that you, know, you got on with your colleagues, that you knew what your job was, that you had uh, some kind of purpose and vision that was embedded within what you were doing? You know, was, is your workplace in conflict with your values as a person? That's all of these things that are going on in the underside of an organisation. And when that organisation is under pressure, when we start to you know, look at some losses and things like that, they're the things that will come to the surface. Because if people are saying to themselves, well, what did you do for me? <laughs> you know, what was it? How come, you know, I don't have a lot of loyalty and faith embedded in this organisation because I didn't feel that I was recognised for my uniqueness, that I was working with my strengths, that I was, you know, being looked after, that I had control over what I was doing. So therefore, I'm going to pack my bags and nick off. And I think organisations now um, that are able to turn to their work, to their workforce, I was reading about it in the in-flight magazine with the Virgin Blue, I think, to turn to their workforce oh, and say, an yeah. Yeah, <laughs> we, we can lose the yeah. staff or we can lose some of, we can cut some of the bottom lines. That organisation now pulled together to try to keep the staff and get rid of some of those excessive expenses. So I think, mm -hmm. as Erica says, if you have a whole bunch of resilient people, you have a resilient work, workplace. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm.